Alright, so I just thought I'd make this video about, like, I guess, willpower or motivation, because this is something that loads and loads of people are talking about. And I think a lot of people just have the wrong idea about motivation. I just, in my, in my opinion, from my experience, I've always found that the best motivation has been one of two things, okay? One, me wanting to do something or achieve something from inside, like I've intrinsically wanted to do something, so I've motivated myself. And number two, somebody telling me that I couldn't do that thing that I wanted to do. That's the most powerful motivation I've ever had. And I think especially the latter, you know, when people say, when you know you want to do something and you know you can achieve it, if someone then tells you that that's not possible, that is, in my opinion, the most powerful motivation that anyone could give you. Because, at least for me, I just have to prove them wrong. I have to show them that actually, no, I believe in this so strongly that I can make it happen, no matter what the odds are. But I think there's a lot of focus about, there's a lot of focus on, like, listening to motivational speeches every day, and I don't think that's really necessary. I think they're good, and they can serve a purpose of, like, maintaining your motivation and reminding yourself why you're doing what you're doing. But they shouldn't be the focus of your motivation, that should come from within you. Because you should have a goal, right? Everyone should have goals. You should know that you want to and can achieve it. And then that should be all you need, you know. And you might have the occasional video that just sort of reminds you and like sparks you back into action. But that, you shouldn't need to like have half an hour every day where you motivate yourself. Because you should already be motivated. And the, the, there are a few reasons why you might not be. Either you haven't chosen a goal, so you don't actually know what you want. That's a really common one, right? Because if you don't know what you want, you're not going to go anywhere. If you don't actually know what you want to achieve, then how can you possibly achieve it? Because you don't know what you want. You don't know what you're aiming for. It's like if a ship was sailing off into the horizon without a destination, where would it end up? Well, in the middle of the ocean. It wouldn't be anywhere. Whereas if it has a destination, 99 times out of 100, it's going to reach that destination. You know, that's, it's very important to have goals. Humans are goal-seeking uh, organisms. We like to have something to aim towards. So you either don't have a goal, or you have a goal, but it's just not strong enough. It's not the right thing. It's not really what you truly want and have to have. There's a huge difference between wanting something and something that you absolutely have to have or be. Because when, you, when it has to happen, you'll find a way to make it happen. Whereas when you just want it, when you just like the idea of having a, a nice house or a big nice car or a lot, lot of money in your bank account, when you just slightly want it, that's not enough to make you actually take the action required to get to what you want. It's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a paradox here, but I'm, this isn't meant to be a motivational speech at all. This is just like my take on motivation because I think too many people focus on having to actually rely on a motivational speech to get them to do anything. Whereas really, if they truly want the goal, then they shouldn't need to be motivated. They should just be ready to, to go and do it and to take action and, and do the things that you need to do to get to where you want to get to. Done.